My name is Caitlin Rosso. I'm a developmental and behavioral pediatrician. I decided to go into developmental and behavioral pediatrics because I have a younger sister who has autism. And so growing up, um, I saw the struggles that she faced and my family faced. So I was very excited when I completed medical school and extra training to be able to help take care of children with autism and their families. So developmental and behavioral pediatricians are pediatricians who have extra training in um, what it sounds like development and behavior. Uh, so uh, we see a lot of children who might have concerns in those areas. So maybe they're having um, problems with talking or maybe they have social concerns. Um, so I have the time to be able to spend with patients and talk about those concerns and observe the children and really gauge their current developmental milestones and figure out if the child does meet any diagnoses, like I said, such as developmental delay or autism, and then come up with a comprehensive treatment plan for that child and their family. So that initial um, evaluation is pretty long, much longer than usual doctor's appointments, um, and it really involves being able to spend time talking with the family and um, talking with the child, and then um, spending time gauging uh, where that child is developmentally. A lot of times we'll do maybe extra assessments, kind of like play-based assessments, where we gauge that child's language skills, maybe social skills, that kind of thing. And then sometimes at the end of the visit, we have enough information to say, hey, I think this is what's going on. This is probably the best course of treatment. Um, other times we say, you know, we're really not sure. We might need to come back for another visit or have extra surveillance um, and watch these things more closely over time. I'm originally from Kentucky. I grew up in a small town in Western Kentucky called Madisonville. Um, I originally lived in Louisville uh, when I went to medical school here. Um, since then, I've lived in a couple different places for training. I lived in Indianapolis and um, in Nashville, but when I was done with my training, I really wanted to come back home to Kentucky and be able to serve the families who live here. Um, so I was really excited when I was able to come back to Louisville um, and serve all the families in this area, as well as the rest of the state. So I like to get outside whenever I can, um, do things like hiking, biking, enjoying a lot of the uh, natural beauty around the state of Kentucky. Um, and then at home I like to do things like um, baking and reading.